just locked. Hi, welcome back. Thank you so much for checking back in on my channel. I wanted to jump on to do something a little bit different today because I'm getting a little bit further in my journey and my experience moving around in the world now has been a little bit interesting. And lately I've been hearing some comments just about my hair and about other people's hair that kind of bothers me a little bit. So I wanted to come on today and make a video talking about the comments that I've been hearing and getting recently about my hair and also about other people's experience with their hair is honestly made me both angry and sad. So it's just been a mix of emotions for me. So I wanted to talk about everything that I've been hearing and that I've been seeing and also give you guys some tips and tricks today for those of you who are on your journey and you might be feeling stuck or stagnant or you might be feeling like your hair doesn't look like the next person's hair or it doesn't look like how it's supposed to, you know. So let's get into it because I got a lot to tell you guys and yeah, let's get into this thing. so first things first y'all know i've been on my journey for a while now uh it's january 2024 right now and in april i will be five years locked so i started in 2019 and this is how far i've gotten So yeah, this is basically what my hair is looking like. And I think it's interesting that I've been moving around lately over these last few months and I've been getting a lot of love for my hair and I do appreciate it. It makes me feel really great because my hair hasn't always looked so great. So just the fact that I hung in here and I stayed on my journey and, you know, I'm getting compliments on my hair. It, it makes me feel great. You know, it's like, you know, I did some, I did this. <laughs> so I'm proud of my hair. I'm proud of where it's come. I'm proud of the work that I put in and I'm just happy to see it, you know, finally growing out and finally looking really good. Um, so the downside of that is I've been getting compliments about my hair, but at the same time, the young ladies that are giving me the compliments are also putting down their own hair. So that makes me sad. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. How long have you been growing them? I've been growing mine for about five years now. It'll be five years in April. Oh man, it looks so good. I used to have locks. Well, I tried to. I did the side lock and everything, but then I ended up cutting mine off. What? Girl, why? Why did you cut your locks? Because mine didn't look like that. It didn't look like yours. Like, mine was looking crazy. Well, my hair didn't look like this at the beginning either. I'll be honest, it, it took a while. Really? Girl, no, my hair did not always look like this. You know, mine was so thick, I just felt like they should be smaller. So I took them out because I wanted to start over, but then I just, I just never put them back in. Well, you can always split them in half if they're too thick. I actually had one in the back and it was really, really thick. And it actually was this one. This one used to be one piece and it was so thick that I just took a eyebrow razor and I split it right down the middle and made it two pieces. Why are you kidding? So you just fearless basically. I mean, I just was determined to grow my hair out and I just never gave up on it. That's all I can say. I just took it one day at a time and now we're here. <laughs> Give it another try. There's so much you can do with your hair. You just got to hang in there and find solutions that work for you. So I've been getting a lot of comments like that lately, and it really saddens me. And I think the first thing that we got to stop doing is comparing our hair to other people's hair. First of all, you can't compare your day one or your year one locks to somebody else's locks and a lot of times it's people who've been locked four five six seven plus years 
you know, and they're deep into their lock journey and their locks are just more established. And here you are feeling, you know, almost inadequate feeling like my hair doesn't look like that because you're still in your first year. Baby, your hair is not going to look like five year locked hair. It's just not going to. And I feel like we need to stop comparing ourselves just in life in general. You know, you're scrolling on Instagram, you see somebody on a yacht, hair blowing in the wind, you know, living their best life. And you're literally on your cubicle like, I'm doing something wrong. I got to get my life together. Everybody is at a different point in a different journey. And you never know what somebody's had to do to get where they are. So don't knock your journey and don't make yourself beat yourself up feeling like, whatever you got going on is not good enough because you know, you're still new into your journey or you're still, you're just on a different path and you haven't gotten to that golden moment yet. It doesn't mean it's not coming or it's not going to happen. So I hate hearing so many people tell me that they've cut their locks off because they didn't look right or they didn't look like how mine look now. Like my hair did not used to look like this. Like like for a long time it didn't look like this and you know regardless like i still love my hair with all its imperfections but again i'm going into my fifth year so it took years for my locks to really get established and to even look you know how they are looking now but i've had to maintain them i've had to do a lot of different things to get them to this point because honestly there was times where people have said negative things about my hair and had I listened to them, it probably would have made me cut my locks off too. Quick story. So when I was in my first year, I was probably six or seven months locked. I remember specifically this woman like asking me like, how long have you been locked? You know, and I told her like, I think it was like five or six months at this point. And I told her and she was just like, you don't do anything to your hair? And I didn't really understand the question, but I'm just like, you know, no, I don't do anything to my hair. Like I keep it really low maintenance. I keep it really simple. I just stick to water and I moisturize. You know, I'm basically telling her that I don't manipulate my hair a lot because I want it to be, I want it to grow and just do its thing naturally. So I was just explaining to her that like, no, I don't do anything to my hair. And then she was just like, oh, well, like, you should moisturize it and you should put something in it, like do something to it. And that's when I realized like, oh, she's, she trying me up right now. Like She's trying me like I thought she was just inquiring about my hair, my maintenance. But that's when I realized she was telling me like basically like your hair doesn't look good. It looks like crap. Basically, it was the whole way that she said it. Just like, oh, like you should moisturize it or something like do something to it. And it's just like little comments like that, like will really discourage you from your journey because, you know, I'm here and I'm I'm. I'm literally just letting my hair be and letting it grow how it wants to grow. And she's gonna tell me, you know, some stuff like that is very discouraging. Um, especially when, you know, just society as a whole makes you feel like your hair needs to be sleek or flat or straight to be pretty or needs to be laid down. Every little hair needs to be in place. You know, society will make you feel like your hair is is jacked up for just being natural and being the way that God made it to be. You're letting it grow out the way that God intended. You're not touching it a whole bunch. You're not using a whole bunch of different products and this and that. You're just letting it be organic. And that's such a beautiful thing. And it's really disappointing that people make you feel otherwise and make you feel like it's not that when it is. So first things first, y'all love your hair. Your hair is beautiful exactly how it is. There's nothing wrong with it. It's going through its own process and its own journey at its own pace in its own time. And there's nothing wrong with your hair. Period. Period. Yeah, tell them I said that. <laughs> Tips and tricks. So for anyone who is feeling stuck, I will say my first year locked, I did do different things with my hair. I won't say that I just wore my locks out every single day, the whole time, um, because I didn't. You know, there were some days that, well, first of all, I was so used to doing different things with my hair. I was always switching up my hair, wearing different wigs, wearing different braids and weaves and things like that. I was just so used to having my style switched up that in the beginning, it already was hard for me to just 
wear my natural hair every day but I wanted to do that because I wanted to let my hair breathe and let my scalp breathe and just you know let my hair grow out but you know there were some times where I just got bored with my hair and I'm like I feel really blah and so I want to switch it up so it's okay to do that especially in that first year when you're getting used to it and you know your confidence might not be built up yet or you feel like man I don't really look my best it's okay to switch it up and so here's how i did that in my first year honestly i did wear wigs there was times where i would put on when my hair was really short i could just put on a stocking cap and put the wig on top and that was really easy and quick and it let me switch up my look as my hair got a little bit longer i did have to braid it down almost like you would a sew-in i would have to braid my hair down and then I could put on the stocking cap and then I could do my wig. So wigs are always the easy way to switch it up. Um, crochets are another way you can switch it up. So around my second, I want to say this was like my second year locked. I would have to look back at the video because I can't remember. But I think around my second year, this is when I did this style. And again, I braided my hair down because at this point it was a little bit longer and thicker. And I had to braid it down. And I put a stocking cap over it and I just crocheted hair to this stocking cap. So you can always do crochets. That's another easy way. You can just switch up your look and you don't have to cut off your locks. So another thing I've done to switch it up is individual lock extensions where I would basically two strand twist my hair first and then I would go in and use the individual crochet locks and I would just loop it through my hair and I would pull my lock inside of the crochet hair. So my lock would be safe and sound in the middle of the hair. And that was just a way for me to have almost how you would have like individual braids, like box braids, and not have to have the whole braided foundation of, you know, when people do crochets and they braid their whole hair down and they just crochet the braids on top or they crochet the locks on top of the braids. Sometimes you just want your scalp free and you want it to just look like, you know, you want to be able to see your parting space and you just want those nice individual single locks, you know. So this is a good way to do that without having to cut your hair or do anything to your hair that's damaging. And honestly, I think the break just gave my hair a chance to just grow while I also had a cute lock style thing you can do that people don't realize is you can do box braids like that's one of the easiest things you can do because when you think about it when you box braid your hair you have to section off your hair into little squares of like hair to braid the braid the braiding hair with you know you make a little square in your hair and then you add the extensions and you braid it in there right but with locks your hair is already sectioned off so it just makes it so much faster. Just grab one of your locks, put the braiding hair around it like normal, and just braid it in with the lock. Bye. Oh, oh. right? Like it's such an aha moment that for a lot of people because they don't realize that you can just put braids right on top of your locks. And this is another way for you to just cover it up, cover up your hair and protect it and do something different with your hair, switch up your style. And you know, sometimes you might just want braids. I kind of want some right now. So I've been debating putting some in and I'm still thinking about it. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Um, but you can always do box braids, especially in the beginning of your journey when your hair is shorter. It's just so quick and easy to throw them in. And then once you take them out, it's like nothing ever happened. Like your locks are right back, you shake them out and you right back at it. So there's just so many styles that you can wear in the meantime to just cover up your hair temporarily or protect it or just switch up your style while your locks are growing out. You don't have to cut them. You don't have to start over every time you feel like they look crazy. Just throw in some box braids or throw in a style, put in some crochets. You can have whatever style you want just temporarily to just get you through the next couple months and before you know it it's gonna be you're gonna be two years into your journey and you're gonna pull that wig off and be like Surprise. <laughs> got all this
this hair under here and you're gonna shake your hair down and they're gonna be like oh my gosh where's all this hair been more tips if you are someone who wants to wear your hair out more during those beginning phases you know that first year that second year i recommend just playing with your hair just play with different styles try different things and see what looks good on you for that point in time because one thing i noticed is you know at the beginning there was i would figure out a style and i would really really love it but a few months later as my hair was growing out that style just didn't work for me anymore and i would have to play around to figure out something that that looks better and that fits my hair for the stage that it was in. So as your hair continues to grow out and to progress, certain styles you're not gonna be able to do anymore, either because they don't look right for the length that your hair is, or because your hair is now too long to do that style. I've had that a couple of times where it's like, man, I used to love putting this style in and now it don't even look right no more because my hair's grown out so much and it's so long that I have to alter the way that I do the style. You know, and that's an exciting moment. But I would just say, play around with your hair. Just try, you know, try pull some half up and half down. Try to do, you can try to do pigtails. You can try parting it to one side. You can try parting it in the middle. You can try bangs. You can, I have a whole video of when my hair was really, really short. I was still a few months locked and I was literally just going through different hairstyles. And you can see like how cute each one of them are in their own way. So just try different things in your hair and just play around with it to see what looks good for you, what works, what doesn't. And honestly, if you find one good style that you can rock or two good styles that you can rock every day, just keep rocking them consistently. And I guarantee you, usually every three months, your style is gonna have to change because about every three months or so, you're gonna notice that your hair has grown a lot from the last three months and the style that you're wearing now doesn't work anymore. <laughs> beads. So another thing you can do is you can add beads to your hair. That sometimes gives your hair some life without doing very much to your hair at all. So I remember in my first year, I decided to do these little silver beads and I sewed them to the tips of my hair. Some people do it all over their lock, but it is a very time consuming process because you have to take the, the sewing needle and thread like you would use for like a sew-in to sew the weft. You take your sewing needle and thread and you sew the bead onto your locks. And this way, when you get tired of them, you can just cut the thread and pull it out and the bead will come off, the, the thread will come out and your hair will be undamaged. So it's really easy to get these beads. You can jump on Amazon and get a whole big pack for like not much money. They're very cheap. Um, and I went with the smallest size that I could find and I ended up really, really liking it. It just added something to my hair. A little further in my journey, I played around with actual like hair beads, like the ones that you would put on, you see on like little girls at the end of their hair, like toddlers, when they have like the little rainbow beads. I'll insert a picture. Um, I played with those a lot and that was a lot of fun. And it also gave my hair some color and they're inexpensive you get a whole bunch of them they come in all sorts of colors you can do the silver ones you can do green red blue you can just really have fun with it and that's another way to just add some kind of some kind of you know razzle dazzle to your hair without hurting it without damaging it without having to color your hair fully or without having to do any kind of extensions if you don't want to do extensions and you want to maintain the natural route you could think about beads or even hair string, like the silver and gold hair string that they sell at the beauty supply. You can braid that into your hair, you know, and that just adds a little spark, a little something to your hair. One listing. So I had another conversation the other day with another girl and she was telling me that, you know, she loved my locks. She was complimenting them how nice they look. And I was telling her I love hers because, oh my God, when I say y'all, she had the cutest lock style. Like she had like a, her hair was like twisted, flat twisted up to the top and it had like a nice twisted bun. And then the front, she had like, um, 
it was like oh my god I, it's, I can't even explain it it was just really really cute she had the cutest style and she was telling me how she wants to cut her locks and start over because she felt like they were too thick <sighs> when I tell y'all I'm staring at her hair and I'm like it is gorgeous I'm like sis why would you cut your hair no don't do that so this is another thing that I hear often about people saying that their hair is either too thick or too thin both of which can be solved without cutting your hair okay very easy to take an eyebrow razor and just start from the root let your hair grow out a little bit and have some of this nap start from the root make a part in your hair wherever you want to part it make a part put the razor inside and just start to cut start to work your way down and your hair will split i actually I had this big juicy lock back here in the back and it used to be one big lock and it was just so big and it was driving me insane. So I did that. I put my my razor in my roots and I just went right down and split this right up into two pieces. And now I have two locks, okay? So it can be done. You just got to have a little patience with yourself and maybe get a friend to help it'll be easier if you have someone to help you if you're trying to do all of your hair but you can very easily split your hair if you're at the point where you're about ready to cut all your hair off anyway what's the harm in just giving it a try splitting your locks and if you don't like them you was about to cut your hair off anyway so go on now you can cut it off but at least you tried so on the flip side of that if your hair is too thin it's very very easy to two strand twist those two locks together and eventually they will start to lock and it'll turn into one lock and as your as the time goes on and as your journey goes on the twist pattern will go away you can hold them next to each other and you can use the crochet needle to tangle them up if you just really want them to just instantly lock then you can use the instant lock method and do that but my point being it's very easy to put two locks together to make a thicker one if you feel like they're too small i had several places in my hair where i've had to put locks together because my hair was so thin when i first started that my locks was just really tiny teeny tiny so for example this is one place where you can see these two used to be separate and i put them together and honestly i did it a third time at some point and now it's one it's one thick healthy lock but you can see on their own, they still would have eventually been fine. But you can see how tiny they were. And at the time, I didn't let them develop all the way. So they were just so small that I was really concerned about how small they were. And so I put them together to make this lock. And at some point, I don't remember when I let this one. I added this one. So this is actually three locks. <laughs> but my point being is like... You would never know from looking at the bottom of it. So it's like, who cares? If you need to put two together, put them together. And if you get to one lock and it has two ends. So what? <laughs> at the root, it's still a normal. I can't even find it anymore because that's how good it blends in. But at the root, it's still going to be one single lock. All of these videos are on my channel. Um, all of my videos are literally numbered. So you can go all the way back to day one, number one. But that being said, that's all for this video. I do hope it gives you some stuff to consider. So maybe it'll keep you going on your journey and you'll know that you have options and that you don't have to give up. If you do want locks, if this is something that you you just see yourself with and you see yourself loving, you, love, you don't have to cut your locks. You don't have to start over if you feel like they're the wrong size. Like try everything you possibly can first before you have to do that the last possible alternative should be starting over that should be like plan z basically okay anyway i hope this helps someone and thanks for checking back in on my video and my progress and i'll see you in the next video okay bye